80s, 90s, and today. And today. This is Coast Radio. This is Coast Radio 106.6 FM. You're listening to Buff Mammy. <laughs> It's just gone one o'clock and we have a couple of requests coming in. From being a little girl, um, I always remember my dad working out. And um, I think one thing that really sticks in my mind as I was probably about six year old and there was a bodybuilding show on TV, show on holiday. And I was, you know, trying to do all the movements and go on, lass, go on, kid. And I just, I wanted to be, I guess, really muscular then and really like a bodybuilder then. Um, and it kind of stuck with me. I was always into fitness, judo, roller skating, dancing, all of that thing. And then as soon as I could go into the gym, I did. And we have a shout out from Susan, who is proud of our daughter for coming fifth in the universe I wonder who that is <laughs> um, in the Miss Bikini universe fifth and we've got two more shows to go at the time I don't think they had bikini categories and by the time I got older I didn't want to be a bodybuilder as in what they would call a bodybuilder a lot mus more muscular and then around about the time I was thinking about having children um, I remember different categories bikinis and that all coming out um, and that's what I wanted to do but I had my son, I breastfed for a year, then not long had my daughter, then breastfed for a year, and then I was like, right, if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna do it. I'd done it, got the bug, fire in my belly, and then that was me. Went in lockdown, and then I'm back on it. Absolutely loving it. I never really see things as a challenge as such. I kind of, I'm the type of person that thinks Let's see, Every, everything happens for a reason. And I would have goals and a vision board and I would look and go, yes, I want to do that. And people might look at that as a challenge, like, you know, doing Miss Universe and things like that. But I see that as my goal, my vision, and then break it down and do it day by day. If, for example, like I came fifth in Miss Universe, but I want to come first, I would take lessons from that to learn from it and then build from that and that would probably be my challenges on a daily basis but I would never see anything as too big of a challenge and we have a happy birthday to Debbie from Debbie at the Dirty Woofers uh, who wants to play good vibrations for you I would always say myself so when you're on stage yes you do have other girls but you've got no control over what they're bringing to the stage so I like to kind of stay in my lane and control what I can control um, which is me. So if I look at a show that I'd done six weeks ago, my goal or my challenge would be to come in tighter or better condition, you know, things that, right, okay, this is what I need to work on based on my feedback or what I think or my coach thinks needs to be done. Let's get going. Happy birthday, Debbie. competitors in business um, with curves wise with the gyms um, again I don't kind of worry and put any time or effort into any of the other gyms worrying about any competitors because we're really unique we're a ladies only facility and the service we offer is very very different to any other competitor out there um, so that energy that I would put into worrying about them I don't I put into the into the club. Radio. You're listening to Coast Radio 106.6 FM. This is Buff Mammy. We only have half an hour left, guys. Get those requests in. I hope Debbie heard all them requests for her birthday. Probably keeping two children alive for this long. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I still don't, like when I look at my, my son, my son's up here and I'm like, how am I a mammy, like of two children, um, to have my two babies they are really 
they're amazing children. They are absolutely amazing. They're really successful. My son is amazing at football, a defender. And my little girl's an amazing dancer. They're just absolutely brilliant children. And I've brought them up, obviously my husband as well. I do the most work. Um, so yeah, just, just watching them and seeing how polite they are, good attitudes, the confidence they've got, that's an achievement to know that I've brought them up as good, strong children. Achievements out of the family, um, having my three clubs, I think that's an, a massive, massive achievement, and coming fifth in the universe with my bodybuilding. Um, yeah, only for this year though, I'm getting first next year. <laughs> I'm coming for you. That goes back about 20 years. Um, I started with Curves, it's a ladies fitness facility, um, massive franchise. It started in America, Texas, Waco, Texas. And um, I started off as a coach. From a coach, I became a manager about the age of 17. And then I, at the time I had, I was running the, one of the top three clubs in, in England and Curves International contacted and asked if I would be a mentor for Curves. So that's what I've done. So um, I mentored all over the place. I was away from home weeks on end, island, island, just hopping all over the place, opening up, absolutely loved it. Got loads of life skills from doing it, traveling experience and everything. Went to Las Vegas a few times, absolutely brilliant. Um, we had to do a big performance on stage in front of 10,000 people. It was brilliant. Welcome to Course Radio. Radio on 106.6 on the FM frequency. I think with the social media, it kind of, I think when TikTok came out in lockdown, it was like, I felt like it was designed for me so I could like actually be normal because I'm like that stupid kid inside that hasn't really grown up. And off the back of that, there was um, Beef TV who did interviews and they contacted me and said, we need you, we need your personality, your goofiness. This is what we need for interviews. Um, so I went down, had a go, and it was to interview um, the athletes at the FitX Federation. But Darren, who owns the FitX Federation, um, absolutely loved us. I can say that because I know he does. <laughs> um, and he was like, we want to keep you. And I stayed with FitX, the Federation itself. Um, that is one bodybuilding federation that I absolutely, absolutely love them. They're, they're like a family it's a really, really good federation. Once you've competed with different federations, you realise how well looked after you are as an athlete. Um, and I absolutely love doing it. So on weekends, I do do the, the FitX interviews, interviewing athletes, and I've interviewed some world strong men as well. So yeah, the social media took off on that side, for sure. And then I came back and opened my first club. I think I was about 20, 21 in Ashington. And then we opened Cramleton and then recently just took over Colour Coats. Um, we took over that club that was already existing and we took that over in 2017. So I've got three clubs now, Ashington, Cramleton, Colour Coats. Um, I've got an amazing team of staff now and I've kind of, after 20 years, taken a little bit of a back step and I do more the social media, marketing, paying the wages and the bills, that's all. 80s, 90s and today. And today. This is Coast Radio. I'm here, yes I am, it's Annie Hart. I'm just going to finish off my little bit with Alma Cogan. The World Cup will be starting, so we'll be having in... Uh, in club teams at Curves um, for to get all involved with the World Cup. So watch out for that. Curves as a place. It always seemed when I went into a gym, there was never any women. And the one or two women that you did see would be on the treadmill or the cross trainer. And they're just doing cardio. They're not doing strength training. And Curves allows women a safe and comfortable environment to do strength training, which is basically getting the same results as what we're doing, lifting weights, but in a, a comfortable, safe environment with a coach that's going to support you. And that's why I fell in love with Curves, because then I could offer my guidance, advice and knowledge to women that would never step foot into a normal gym. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's just the community of it, the, the 
the concept of it, the support, the members, they're like my family. We've got um, smart things with key tags, which um, it really motivates you on the machines. And then you put it in the kiosk, it tells you how many calories you've burned, which um, muscles you've worked, which ones you haven't worked. It alternates your workout to work you harder. It's double positive equipment as well, which is really, really good because in a normal gym, you might have to do, say, like a bicep curl and then, like, say, a tricep extension. So you're doing front and back. But the curves equipment, you're pushing and pulling at the same time. So you're working bicep and tricep. So you're working um, your body so it's kept, like, symmetrical and um, working front and back of the muscle at the same time. A lot of women would do bicep curls but not triceps. A lot of women would do sit-ups for their tummy but not the lower back. You know, a lot of women might do squats but not do the, you know what I mean? So they, they don't really do the back side of things, so this keeps their body in proportion. It's really, really good. I do, yes, the Sons Football Club. Could you tell us which one that is? Walls End Boys Club, yes. He's on the, um, he's on the top team and he's a defender and he's awesome. Obviously I'm gonna think that because he's my boy, but yeah, we sponsor Curves. Curves sponsors that uh, football team. At Curves, we do an annual food drive. So for six weeks, we broke the six weeks down and we did a week of um, Asta La Pasta. So all the members or new people coming in would donate pasta in exchange of their joining. And then we did like fresh meat vet, uh, vouchers, so on and so on. So for six weeks, we raised food and money donations. And then we teamed up with um, Premier Meats at Blythe and we used their hot food van and three days in a row we went out and fed the homeless and donated everything to charity and i came in and every friday i give them an update um on the radio of what it is we're doing how much we'd raised and it just so happened one day i was it was with maggie and lisa and Anne, annie had went away home and she'd heard on the radio and she was like i need someone for the radio and she was like you sound brilliant on radio that's what we need would you like to do it? And I was like, okay. So, um, yeah, maybe it's four months ago, got my own radio show. <laughs> Coast Radio on 106.6 .6 on the FM frequency. Don't forget, if you've got any requests and dedications this morning, uh, studio line 01670432107. You can come through on the text 07858429316. Next to you guys. Have an awesome week. See you then. I'd be really proud of myself actually. I know that might sound big headed, but I actually, I absolutely love my life. I really do. Um, I'm grateful for everything I've got in life. Um, just ev everything the universe has actually provided me with. My children, if, if that was the only thing that I got, I don't mean rewarded with, but if that's all I ever had in life, like I've obviously done something good to deserve the children I've got. Um, having curves, that was my dream when I was younger to own my own gym and I've got curves now. My dream when I was younger to compete, NABBA. I never ever thought I would ever be good enough to compete in NABBA and I've just done that. Um, I'd, be, I'd be well happy with my life. I am happy with my life. I'm grateful and I appreciate everything and I love everybody and everything in my life. Yeah, wouldn't change anything.